Why do they want to scan your iris? Why do they want your eyeball scan? Hi there, crypto fans. Dick Allgaier here. It's another beautiful day in Hawaii, although I'm inside at my board. I'm going to talk about a few things. I'm going to talk about why eyeballs are so important. Why is there an eye on top of the pyramid on our dollar bill? Why do they want to scan your eye? What does that logo mean? And what does it have to do with AI controlling your every move? And why do so many celebrities pose like this and do things with their eyes? Well, why, why is all that? What about the eye? Well, I'm going to talk about that. Sam Altman is the CEO. By the way, these are a prop. I'm going to make a point with these uh, sunglasses. Sam Altman is the CEO of OpenAI. Now, AI has been a lot in the news. People are fearing this. People are dreading it. People are predicting it could be the end of the human race. People love it. People are having fun playing with it, but AI is here to stay, and it is the future. Technology is rolling out at an exponential rate. So Sam Altman is the CEO of OpenAI, and he's got this little project where he's got this sphere about that. But well, let me just show you the headline. I'll read this. Here it is. OpenAI raising $100 million to scan every eyeball on Earth stare into the orb. So they have this orb that they're taking around mostly to developing countries. And they're paying people a little bit of this token called WorldCoin. And they get the token, they get a little bit of money, and they've spent a hundred million bucks on this already. And you stare into the orb and it takes a picture of your eyeball. Now that's not creepy. No, not at all. They're doing 40 thousand eyeballs a week currently according to the report they've already scanned 14 million eyeballs they're calling it proof of personhood if there's one thing you need to do on this old earth that's to prove that you're a person and if we have developed people in the developing world that are unbanked that are not real persons because they don't have an ID. Well, we need to give them a digital ID. That's what this is all about, proof of personhood. So what they're doing is they take this orb around and they scan people in and they're paying them with WorldCoin. The WorldCoin token, it looks roughly like this. I drew it. Let me, let me put a better picture of that up. There's the WorldCoin. Looks kind of like an eyeball with something clutching it doesn't it? So what is it about eyes? We all know that the Illuminati eyeball is on the top of the dollar bill. We have the all-seeing eye, and I'm not going to get into that. If you look up, how can I put this, um, celebrities with one eye symbol, or it's celebrities with I and then uh, Illuminati type stuff. You'll see lots and lots and lots of pictures, famous, you know, Madonna, Lady Gaga, a lot of celebrities make that eyeball picture. What will happen if they have everybody's iris scanned and entered into an AI database? then your iris will become your digital ID. Now that'll be a good thing if you don't like to remember passwords like me, because I have like 80, about 820 passwords and logins to remember. You'll just need to go like this. Yep, you're logged in. People who think, okay, let's take this down the road a little bit. What would they do with that? Okay, they have high def surveillance cameras. This is already in China and it's many parts of the world too. Uh, Great Britain, they've got a lot of cameras. They're rolling out high def cameras. So you get off the bus, by the way, you're not going to drive a car because cars are going to be phased out, but you'll get off the mass transit. And at the stop where you get off will be a high def camera. It will scan your eyeball and it will know exactly where you are. And probably the AI will be predictive on where you're going. Like, Mr. Allgaier, you want to eat some Korean food today. We've got a place for you right down the block, one right, two lefts. 
it would be like Mama Cho's Bibimbap House. And we've got some Bibimbap, some kimchi, and some uh, mandu ready for you because they know where I've eaten and what my periodicity of eating Bibimbap is. They know that's the day I'm going to eat the Bibimbap. But let's say that you've been traveling somewhere where there's been a potential virus outbreak like the flu and we've just tracked you in a place where the flu has been Mr. Allgaier we're going to need to put you in isolation for the next 72 hours you're gonna to have to go home and you're gonna to have to poke your head out into the camera and show that your eyeball is home you will not be allowed to Mama Choi's Bibimbap house to eat Bibimbap for the next 72 hours it will be complete surveillance, complete access management based on your retina. Now, the reason I was wearing the sunglasses is a friend of mine said, well, they won't get my eyeball because I'm just going to wear sunglasses everywhere. That will put off an alarm. When you get off the mass transit to go to the Bibimbap house and you're wearing sunglasses, there'll be a warning, warning. Excuse me, the individual with the sunglasses, please remove your sunglasses now and go to the camera to scan your eyeball. All right, you have access. Or, no, you've used too many carbon credits. You're not allowed to eat beef today. You've had your fill of insects. We're gonna reduce your insect consumption. You'll be eating Soylent Green. So that won't be a way around it. But let's just, has this been predicted in the mainstream media. I remember the movie Minority Report. What did I see in that? Let me remember. Oh, there's nothing sinister there. No, it's going to be a bright, beautiful future. For those of you who say, I'm not going to comply. I won't let them use my get my iris scan i'm not going to look into the orb most of you have already looked into the orb hey siri hey siri i need you to do something <laughs> siri unlock my phone siri's not complying with me i don't want to make an edit here but i was going to have siri say you'll need to unlock your phone and then i would go like this i just look at it actually i glanced at it and it already unlocked it if you've set up your iphone and you've set up facial recognition you've already looked at your phone from every angle guess what they've got your iris already you're already in the system so this is going to be the new digital ID they're rolling out and it's going to be governed by artificial intelligence and Sam Altman the CEO of AI is already doing this it's going to be a wonderful new future you're going to love it you're going to love the uh, you're going to love the AI telling you where you need to go what you need to do what you're allowed to eat uh, you're going to love it taxing you at every point of purchase it's going to be really wonderful your eyeball is going to be your key to the new future. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. I need to get some more, uh, need to get some more uh, subscribers here. So like and subscribe and check out our Patreon site, patreon.com slash crypto viewing. Keep your sunglasses handy, folks.